Hey, baby. I brought you food. <sighs> Don't look at me like that, okay? You know I can't stand that expression. No, no, don't, don't look away. Hiding your face isn't gonna make it any better. Here, look, I, I made you food. And, and you're going to eat it. I, I want to sit down with you and, and we're going to eat dinner. Got it? Oh, you've been refusing to eat with me ever since I brought you here. I'm starting to get worried about you, sweetheart. Now come over and sit with me. Oh, come on. I, I went out of my way to make this nice place for you. I even got this cute little dinner table for the two of us to eat together and... And this is how you thank me for it. All you ever do is sit by that goddamn window, looking outside all day. I, I wouldn't be surprised if you tried opening it already, wanting to jump out and run away. But as you probably figured out, I, I had a lock installed to avoid that exact thing, to keep it from happening. Uh, of course, we'll open the window every now and again to let in some fresh air. I, I don't want you to suffocate in here after all. But you're not ready for that just yet. I, I can't trust you yet. For now, if you want to ventilate, you'll, you'll have to come into the other room with me, okay? I, I don't want you going anywhere. And a jump from this height definitely wouldn't end too well for you. You don't know what's good for you, my sweet darling. Oh, you're still convinced that this whole situation is so terrible, aren't you? That you should try to escape. Run away. From me. But I won't let that happen. I can tell. You've been thinking about it. At least you stopped trying to scream for now. But it still breaks my heart to see you like this. It's obvious you haven't gotten used to your new situation just yet. I, I suppose that's normal. But I know you will. Eventually. You will. This sort of thing takes time. For most people, falling in love doesn't happen overnight. I... I know that, and, and I may not be the most patient, but... For you... Oh, it'll be worth it. I... I know it's going to happen. I know you'll be mine... Soon enough. Because we're made for each other. Oh... I still remember the first time I saw your beautiful face. I instantly knew you were the one. Oh, maybe it wasn't as obvious to you as it was to me, but I promise you'll realize it soon. Baby, you are everything I've ever wanted. My sweetest dreams personified. When, when I was a kid, I used to imagine what my future might look like. What kind of a person I wanted to be. Whom I might end up with. And I always saw myself with somebody who looked just like you. The first time you crossed my path, I, I knew you were exactly what I'd been searching for. It was almost scary how absolutely perfect you were. I can't believe I actually met you. 
and and it's not just your looks. Even your personality was an exact copy of my fantasies. It feels so surreal to finally have you here with me. You're everything I wanted you to be. Everything I ever dreamed of. You are perfect, sweetheart. Why can't you see that? When we first started talking, you were always so sweet and nice and kind. We immediately agreed on so many things. Oh, you're so perfect. Oh my god, you're so perfect. I wanted you so badly. When I heard the first word from your mouth, ever since we started talking and eventually began hanging out, as I got to know you and and we became friends. Oh, fuck, I've been waiting. I've been longing for you, wanting you more than anything else in the world. It felt like an eternity until I finally got you. Oh, all to myself. After all this time, you're finally here. Can you even imagine how agonizing it's been? Having to cling to that tiny fragment of hope. That eventually you'd move in with me. That you'd realize how perfect we are. I mean, look around the room. All the things I've been gathering in here. Every time you mentioned something you liked or wanted, I, I got it. For you. And I put it in here. Do you remember telling me about your favorite color? Your favorite kind of fabric? Whether you like carpet and whatnot? Oh, yes, I, I memorized it. I'm not sure if you noticed yet, but the mini fridge and snack drawers have all your favorite things in them. Everything you ever looked at for a second too long, only to tell me you shouldn't be getting it today. All the snacks you ate at home. The drinks you always ask your parents to buy. Everything. I carefully considered your preferences and aesthetic with every piece of furniture I bought for you. Even the blankets and covers. The pillows. The clothing detergent. The scent of the room. Every bit of decor. Every tiny little item. It's all been carefully picked out to make this place feel like home. It's even better than your room and your parents' house, isn't it? It's... It's a little upsetting. You're not appreciating it yet. But I... I know you will. You... You just need a little time to get used to the new environment. It's... It's just the shock. I, I know it is. Everything is new, and... <sighs> I've spent days sitting here alone, wishing you would be laying on that bed, talking to me, hugging me when I come home, playing with my hair as we watch movies, kissing me. Oh, oh, it's going to be perfect. You... You just need a little more time, that's all. Just... just a little more time. I can spare that, and, and you'll love it here. You'll love me. You will love me. You will love me. Look, please, just... come sit at the table with me. Sit down and have some food, okay? I I made your favorite. It's it's just the way you like it. I I've been taking notes of what you said you like and, and don't like and, and exactly how you enjoy your food. I I've been practicing too. Cooking has never really been my strong suit, but since I know you like food, I I just had to sit down and learn. For you. Oh, for you. I'd do anything for you. And 
and somehow it's turned out really good. I, I've been constantly and rapidly improving ever since I first met you. I've gotten really damn good. It tastes almost perfect now. You, exactly how you like it. You, you believe me, don't you? Just, just give it a try. Please, baby, look at me. I'm begging you, look at me. I put so much effort into making something nice for you. Just, please, come sit with me. At least, you, you must be starving. Oh, you're almost making me feel bad, baby. But this is everything I've ever wanted. I, oh, I don't want to get upset with you. I, I don't want to hurt you, okay? But you're getting me really frustrated right now. Just, just come over here and sit. Sit with me. Sit with me. Sit. Eat your goddamn food! I spent a lot of time preparing it for you, and you will be eating it right now in front of me. So, so I know that it's good, and, and I know that you like it. I, I just want you to appreciate what I've done for you, for us. Can you do that for me? Can you do that for me? Can you do that for me? Can you? There you go. Finally. That wasn't so terrible, now was it? I'm sorry, baby. This, this whole situation has been a little stressful for me. But I'm, I'm really happy you're sitting here with me right now. Thank you.